Now you've got ash being sucked out of the silo back in there, and that's what cuts these valves anyway. But when these things are misadjusted, you wind up with more cut flaps than you do when they're adjusted correctly because when it opens, as the ash flows out of there, the less ash, this thing's going to try to start closing against the flow of ash. So the ash is flowing out here out of the front uh, because this does not open completely out of the line of ash flow. Okay, as the cylinder operated gate underneath the bag filter, it throws that gate completely open so the ash flows straight out of it. So with this thing, uh, as the ash gets less and less and the weight on it, this thing will try to close itself back up against there. Then the system will cycle and start back up. Sometimes it'll trap clinkers underneath there. Once it traps the clinker between the seat and the, the valve, it's going to start sucking ash back up out of the silo and that's what cuts. Then normally what you'll see is in this area right here, you'll see a, a lot of uh, lines, you'll see a, a, a hole across there, and then you'll see lines up through there where the ash has been sucking up in there and swirling around, which then cuts this uh, spout right here. And the easiest way to change this spout, if you've ever had to change them, I don't know if those were original spouts or not, we found that that thing weighs 300 pounds. No, those were original. Were they the original? Okay, well that, full that, that's full of holes. Okay, I, I, can, I can believe that. Uh, but if you have to change them, I doubt anybody in this room will because if those were the original, uh, 30, 40 years, 40 35 years, worth, years, 35 years worth of running. But if you have to change them, it, it, it's best to just cut the top off, re re remove those separators on top, they a little bit up, hard for yours. They set up stage and went in from underneath. And went in from underneath. Yeah, that thing's so heavy. We had one guy that lifted it up. They built a platform under there. He was a weight lifter. He said that's the heaviest 300 pounds he had ever lifted uh, because it's awkward. Uh, okay, here, here, here's the dust detector I was talking about right here. Uh, there's your probe that sticks in the uh, ash line. It, the particles hit it. It senses the uh, weight of the particles or, or uh, the, the uh, velocity of the particles hitting it. And, and then it, it's pre-calibrated and says, okay, that's too much, and it gives you an alarm. There is a calibration uh, thing up there that we have wired to this, and uh, you have to take that cover off. It, it says to put it over these two holes right here, but the magnet is real weak in it. But uh, we took the cover off and put it over where these two lights are, and the magnet set it off telling us, okay, it simulated that this thing was uh, being hit by things like that. Uh, a, a lot of places, it becomes a nuisance alarm. That pretty much and, and you know what happens after there. <laughs>